here we go. Um, so this says describe the pattern um, in this pattern, I guess, when this series of shapes. So what's happening every time? Well, um, somebody, somebody, um, somebody wrote in here that what am I doing? Well, well, the first thing for, to get from figure one to figure two, what am I doing? Well, I'm adding two blocks and from figure three to f figure two to figure three, what am I doing? Adding three blocks and figure four, three to four, what am I doing? Adding four blocks. So what am I doing is I'm adding, um, how would you describe that? That's my question. That's the question. How would I describe the pattern? So to get to the next figure, how many blocks would I add? You guys can type it in or say it. It doesn't matter. How many blocks would I add to get to the next one? To get to figure five. How many blocks? Yeah, good. I would add five blocks. So to just kind of put that into, sent uh, into a sentence or a couple of sentences, what would you guys say? Oh, how would you guys say that? How would you say that I'm going from um, I think what I would say is I'm going to be I would say I would add the figure number. I think that's what I'm that's what I'm happy that's what I'm seeing. Right? If it was figure two, I added two, right? If it was figure three, I added three. If it was figure four, I added four to the previous one. Figure five, I add five to the previous one. So that's kind of how I would think I would say it. I don't know. Not the best with words. Okay? And then the next one says, oh, oh, it does say draw a picture. How many blocks will there be in figure five? So in figure five, how many blocks will, and it says draw a picture. So I would probably, for me, if I'm doing this, I would probably draw the picture first and then um, figure out how many blocks are there on there. But we can, we can actually uh, figure this out because I can count how many blocks are in figure four and then add five, right? So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plus five. So there should be 15 blocks, B L O C K s in figure five and then if i wanted to draw the picture here we go let me see one two three four five should be five down right don't laugh this is going to be a really bad picture Okay. <laughs> okay. And then the question is, is this pattern arithmetic, geometric, or neither? So um, in order to answer that question, I'm just going to make it a little table and see if we can get the answer from our table. So if I have my um, figure number, right? Figure number and then number of blocks. So in figure one, I had one block, right? How many blocks in figure two? Anybody? One, two, three. And how many in figure three? Well, three plus three is six. In figure four, I had six plus four is 10. In figure five, we know we had 15. So arithmetic means what? That I'm adding the same number every time? Am I adding the same number every time? Well, this would be two, this is three, this is four, and this is five. Well, I'm not adding the same number, so it's not arithmetic. Am I multiplying the same number every time? That would be geometric, right? So what do I multiply one by to get three? Oh, let me change this. Um, I multiply by three, right? Is three times three, six? No. Here, to get from three to six, I would multiply by two. 
And to get from 6 to 10, oh, geez, I don't even know what I multiplied by to get from 6 to 10. I mean, I could figure it out, but I don't know right now. So it's not geometric, which means this is neither. It's not, it's not any of them. Okay? Is there any questions on that? Esther, does that make sense? Why it's not geometric? Okay, awesome. Okay. So now let's talk about this bottom part. Oh, Oh, okay. Um, this bottom part right here. It says, uh, so I have my pattern. And it says, sometimes we need to little dig, dig a little deeper to identify a pattern. Complete the table, which we kind of already did. We're just going to kind of, um, I'm going to come down here and recopy re our table. So we have two and three and three and six and four and ten and five and four. 15. If I was at figure six, that means I'm adding, oops, how many would be in figure six can, and figure seven? Can someone tell me how many blocks in figure six? Remember, what was I doing? Let me come back up here. Remember to go to my next figure from figure one to figure two. I took the one and I added two and go from figure two to figure three. I took my numbers in figure two and I added three. And then from three to four, I took the number in figure three and I added four, right? So how would I go from figure five to figure six? Oh, that's okay, Alex, thanks. Not 27. So we can look at it this way too. So. My difference here is, oh, difference here is two, and then I'm adding three, and I'm adding four, and I'm adding five. So to get from here to here, how much would I add? Six. And 15 plus six is 21. And then go from here to here, I would add seven, and 21 plus seven is 20, 28. 28. Okay. Is everyone okay with that? Questions? Okay. So over here in my, um, right side column, we actually have a few vocabulary words and we don't normally put vocabulary over here, but I was running out of room on this page and I wanted to kind of keep it on here. And my first difference, what the first difference is, this is my first difference. Um, first difference is, how do I want to define first difference? The first difference is how you get from one number to the other, right? What I add or subtract to get to the next number. And that's the first time I do it. This is my first difference. Right? Because... 3 minus 1 is 2, 6 minus 3 is 3, 10 minus 4 is 4, 15 minus 10 is 5, 21 minus 15 is 6, 28 minus 1. Does everyone, do you understand that? Please, thumbs up, something. That's the first difference. That's how we find out um, what my common difference is. First difference is finding, that's a good way to put it, finding the common difference right my common difference which we know which we've been doing for a couple weeks now if you want to well a couple you know finding the common difference so a second difference is where I take my first difference right I take my first difference that I have here and I find the difference between that so what's the difference how do I get from two to three and three to four and four to five and five to six and six to seven what is that What's my difference between those? Oh, I forgot to put one in here. Can anyone tell me what the difference between those numbers is? Oh. 
Yes. Sorry, I thought that was a 17, Zoe. I was like, 17? How'd she get 17? <laughs> I need new glasses, I think. Yes, it is 1. Yeah, because 3 minus 2 is 1. And 4, how do I get from 1 to 3? I Sorry, 2 to 3. Well, I'm adding 1, right? 3 to 4, I'm adding 1. So that my, that's my common difference. So, the de so this is my second difference. Guess how many times I can find a difference? Difference. Difference. I can find a third difference and a fourth difference and a fifth difference. As long as I, I can keep finding differences from my original. This is my original, right? This is my original. I can keep finding differences for as long as I can keep going until it becomes constant. Notice it's all the same here. And remember, if it's arithmetic, um, it's the set. My first difference is the same. So we're going to define these a little bit better. First difference, second difference, next class period. But if my first difference is all the same, then I know that it's an arithmetic equation, an arithmetic sequence. If my second difference is the same, we have a new name for this. And the new name for this is quadratic. So second difference, um, let's see, second difference is the same, then it's a quadratic, Q-U-A-D-R-A, quadratic, okay? So this is called quadratic. So now we're adding a new function to, um, a new function to what we've learned. We've learned linear and exponential. And by the way, I guess I should tell you guys, um, so you know, we've now moved into secondary math too, Okay, so we were we finished secondary math one. We're done with secondary math one. We've now moved into secondary math two. So now we're into sophomore math. This is good. It is going to get a little bit harder from now on because this is secondary math two. It's a little harder. You haven't learned this. This is all new stuff. Okay, so I just want to let you guys know we're moving into new stuff now. Okay, so this is all new stuff for you guys. Um, so this is called a quadratic. So let's go for a second. Remember my second difference was constant. It's all the same. They're all ones, right? So that means that they're all the same number. Is everyone okay with that? I'm deciding not to work. Yes, Ketlin. Do you have a question already? No. <laughs> if you do, you can share your screen and we can talk about it. Okay. Why is this not working? Over here. And, um, so annoying. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm so annoyed right now. Um, I'm so annoyed that the notes are all messed up. Uh, we're going to talk about the pattern and type of function. So for an arithmetic pattern, if I have an arithmetic pattern, that means my first difference, difference is constant. Okay, that means they're all the same. My first difference is all the same, right? And also, it means that it, I have a linear function. Linear function. Okay? Because remember we graphed, um, well, we didn't graph them, but we looked at the graphs of uh, arithmetic um, sequence, and it formed a straight line. And line means linear. That's how I kind of think about it. Line is in linear, so linear line. Okay, and then a geometric has a, oh, I'm so sorry, a common ratio, right? That means I'm multiplying by the same number, right? Common ratio. And this is called a, I want to spell this right. I'm going to spell it wrong. Exponential function. Okay. 
And then our newest function we're going to talk about now, and we're going to spend most of, we're going to spend a long time on this. Let's just say that. We spend a long time on this function in secondary math too. So this is the second difference is constant. And this is a quadratic, quadratic function. When you guys have that all written down, I have a question for you. Honey, they're notes. Okay. I'll get my notebook right now. Oh, my Lanta. Huh? I said, oh, my Lanta. Oh. Do you know I do post them on the, on the website, I mean on Canvas, so if it's easier for you to listen and then pull them off a of canvas, that's fine. So can I ask you guys a question? What does the word constant mean? So what does it mean? That's okay. What does it mean in math? <laughs> what? Sorry, Zoe. Continuous. Continuous. That's good. Um, in this case, um, it means it's the same number. Constant, constant is a number, right? So in constant, in math, constant is just a number. And for the first difference to be constant, it means it's just the same number. It's something that repeats. That's awesome, repeating itself. So it's the same number all the time. That's what constant means in math. So for the first difference to be constant, that means they're all the same number, right? It has a difference that's the same every time. Um, or common difference, right? Uh, so for the second difference to be constant, it means, so like if I go back here. So, oh, okay. So we have three types of functions and we have three types of sequences, patterns. Our pattern here, we wanna identify each. We have five things to look at, okay? Um, uh, we wanna identify the pattern as arithmetic, geometric, or quadratic. So I wanna know which each of these three. We have three tables and two pictures, um, and we want to know if they're arithmetic, geometric, or quadratic. And then I also want to know what type of function it is. So if it's arithmetic, it would be linear, right? If it's geometric, it would be exponential, which is wh wh why, w why we kind of define this up here. And if it's quadratic, then it's just going to be quadratic. Ugh. Okay, there's no other separate word from it. You have a quadratic uh, sequence, you have a quadratic function. If I have a geometric sequence, I have an exponential function. I don't know why they didn't call them something similar. I don't know. Um, so, okay. So we're going to look at these and see if we can figure out if it's linear, exponential, or quadratic. And, uh, and I'm going to kind of tell you how I may um, look at them. Okay, so let's look at number one. And, oh, there's so much stuff going through my head right now. I'm so sorry. Um, like on four and five, if you can, let me kind of slide up a little bit. You can see kind of their patterns, right? Their pictures. What I would do is make a table and then a table for them and then do what I'm going to do on these tables to tell what type of function they are. Does that make sense? Because it organizes your data some sort of way, right? So you need something to organize your data. So if we look at this table here, I'm going to zoom in. Is that okay? So we're just looking at just this one, number one, right? So am I adding the same thing every time? No, right? Because obviously it's getting much, much bigger, right? So I'm not adding, so which means it's not linear. It's not arithmetic, right? So am I multiplying by the same number every time? And how do you tell? Mm. Okay, this is how I tell, because sometimes this one I can tell right away, but sometimes it's hard to tell, and this is how you tell. Are you guys watching? Ready? This is so easy, right? I'm going to take this second number, which is 128, and I'm going to divide it by 64. So you might need a calculator, right? So I'm going to take 128 and divide by 64, 
Someone have a calculator? Yeah, Esther, good. So what's 128 divided by 64? Two. Yes, Alex. Yes, yes, good. It's two. And then just to make sure, because we want to make sure it's the same, right? I'm going to take 256 and divide it by 128. See, I just take this number and divide it by that number, and this number and divide it by that number, and this number and divide. Does that make sense? So what's 256 divided by 128? Two. two. Oh, look, it's the same thing. That means I'm multiplying by, oops, to get to here to here, I'm multiplying by two. Oh, ugh. Can I start over on that, you guys? Sorry. Um, I'm multiplying by two. So do you think if those first two are the same, I'm multiplying by two on the rest of them? I can check. How can I check? I take 512 and divide by 256, right? If you have your calculator, it's really quick, yeah? 512 divided by 256. And it is multiplied by 2. 1024 divided by 512. Multiply by 2. Okay? So I'm multiplying by 2. So if I'm multiplying by the same number every time, what type of pattern is that? Arithmetic, geometric, or quadratic? I can't hear you, Ketlin. Geometric. Geometric, good. So this is a geometric. I hope that's spelled right. Geometric, okay? So if it's a geometric pattern, what type of equation is it? What type of, sorry, not equation. What type of function is it? Do, you need, do I need to code back down so you can see up above? This is why we take notes, Ketlin. What type of function is it? No, that's what type of pattern, Ketlin. Geometric is what type of pattern. What type of function is it? So you go to where it says geometric, right? Oh, you can't see me pointing with my finger because... It's not in the thing. So go to where it says geometric and read where it says function. What type of function is it? Yeah, Alex, good. Good, Esther. Right here, geometric. And it says, I can highlight it though. It says it's a what? Exponential function. So geometric is an exponential function. Does that make sense? So that means this is expon dang ninchial function. I'm gonna write it down. You can take a picture of that, you know. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> okay, so guess what? We're gonna do the same thing with number two, okay? Um, I'm gonna leave this so we can write over here in this, this outside thing. Um, am I adding the same number every time for number two? I always wanna start with that. Am I adding the same number? Or subtracting the same number, right? To get from 36 to 49, 49 to 64, 64 to 81, 81 to 100. Well, that one, well, I know that 36 to 49 should be 13. Is that right? 13? Yeah. 36, 37, 38, 39. Yeah, 13. And 81 to 100 is 19. So I'm not adding the same thing every time. Okay, so I'm not adding. So now I'm going to check if it's exponential, right? So how do I do that? Remember what I do is I take this number and divide by that number. So I take 49 and divide by 36. Someone have a calculator? You guys are faster than me. 49 divided by 36 is 1.36, right? And then I'm going to take 64, 64 and divide by 
49. So 64 divided by 49 is 1.31. Are those the same number? Is 1.36 the same as 1.31? So it's not exponential. I'm not multiplying by the same number every time. So what's the other thing that we have? Quadratic says the second difference. So I need to find my second difference, which means I first need to find my first difference. So what's the difference between 36 and 49? Didn't I say it was thir 13? 13? I think I, it's subtracted in my brain. Good. Uh, 49 and 64. Um... 50, 14 and 1 is 15, uh, 64 and 81, 64, that'd be 6, 17, and then 19. Okay, so there's my differences there. That's my first difference. And then I want to find my second difference. So what's the difference between these two now? What's the difference between 13 and 15? Two. And my difference between 15 and 17? Two. And 17 and 19? Two. So my second difference is the same. So what type of pattern do I have? Arithmetic, geometric, or quadratic? Wow. It's doing so bad today, you guys. Quadratic. Awesome. And I'm going to say this. Oh, let's talk about, let, let's finish this. What type of function is it? What type of function is it? If I have a quadratic pattern, what type of function is it? If you look up top, again, do I need to scroll down? It's a quadratic pattern. What type of function is it? Yeah, it's a quadratic function also. Okay, so I'm going to say this. I think, this is just in my brain, I think that finding the differences is so much easier than finding, uh, doing this part, right? This part was eh, a little harder than actually finding the differences. So I might just find the differences first on all of them. Like on this one, I could have found the difference on it and then found a first difference and then found a second difference. So if the first difference isn't the same, it's not linear. If the second difference isn't the same, it's not quadratic. So then I'm probably going to assume that it's probably geometric. Does that make sense? So because I think for me, this is just my brain. I think for me, finding the difference is easier than finding, than trying to find out if I'm dividing by the same number, especially some patterns. This pattern is pretty easy. It was multiplied by two if you, if you can figure it out. And some of you guys figured it out really fast, okay? But some of the ones, especially the ones you get on your homework, are not going to be this easy. So you might just want to try and find the differences first and see if it works better that way. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense a little bit. Okay, let's go to um, number three. And number three says, what does number three say? What am I doing on number three? Oh, good. Look, Esther's already good. She's adding two. That's perfect. So I'm adding two, adding two, adding two. What type of, sequ uh, what type of pattern is that? Arithmetic, geometric, or quadratic? Is arithmetic. It, arithmetic, yeah. Once I have this all the same, I can just stop and say, okay, what type of pattern do I have? I have ar arithmetic. Sorry, you guys, I'm a horrible speller. Arithmetic, okay? So if it's arithmetic pattern, what type of function is it? Do I need to go back up here? What type of function is it? Yeah, good, Esther. So if I look, and you can look, I'm gonna I'm gonna go up here. If it's an arithmetic 
pattern, it's going to be a what? Linear function. Is that okay? Does that make sense? Okay, so linear. Linear function. Okay. So now we've got number four, and we've got this weird pattern looking thing. Looks like an eye, right? Um, so I think for me, the easiest way to do this is just make a little table. And I'm gonna do size one, size two, size three, size four. And then I'm just gonna count how many squares are in each uh, figure. So go ahead and do that. Count how many squares are in each figure, please. And tell me. Okay, can someone tell me how many little squares are in figure or size one? Size one. Seven. Seven, beautiful. And how many in size two? Nice, Esta. Right, one, two, three, four, five. So that's 10, 11, 12, right? And then how many in 13? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can't trust my seven. 14, 15, 16, 17. Awesome. And then how many in size four? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine which means 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Okay, so there's my little pattern, okay? So I'm gonna first start by finding differences because I think that's easier. So what's my difference between seven and 12 and 12 and 17 and 17 and 22? Adding five. Adding five, good. So what type of pattern is this? Arithmetic, geometric, or quadratic? Geometric. I'm sorry? Geometric. Can I come back down here? Quadratic. Really My first difference, so all the same, so it's what? Arithmetic, right? Geometric means I'm multiplying by the same number. Am I multiplying the same number? Nope, I'm adding the same number. Okay, good. So this is arithmetic, A R A A R sorry, arithmetic. And what type of function is it? If it's arithmetic pattern, what type of function is it? Good, Esther. They're right above it. You've got three choices, geometric, quadratic, arithmetic. What type of function is it? Come on, Kentland, you can do this. I know you can. Arithmetic? Yep, it's arithmetic, but what type of function? So arithmetic is a pattern. I want to know what type of function. Is it linear, exponential, or quadratic? Linear. Linear, there you go. Linear. Okay, it's a linear function. Okay, so this one only has three. Whew. Well, I hope we can figure it out with only three. Let's see. Let's see if we can do that. Okay. So we've got size one, size two, and size three. We've got a lot more numbers to count here. We might have to figure out what's in size four. I don't, I, we might have to figure out which one's in size, how many are in size four if we can. So let's see if we can figure this out. So size one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, we started out with the same number. Awesome. 
Size two has, oh, my Lanta. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Wow. Okay. Okay, this next one's going to be a lot. Um, I think I'm going to try and make this a little easier to count. Okay, I've got the same number here, the same number here, the same number here, right? That's nine, nine, and nine, and nine, and nine, and nine, and how many nines is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven times nine is what? 63. Uh, let's look at this one. I have four, 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 four. I'm just doing this because I think that we need to four. And that was seven fours, right? Okay. So size four, we got to try and figure out what size four is. Because I think we need at least one more number. Whew. Okay. Um, so if I was to draw a size four, I'm just looking at these two, each of these little squares would be how big on size four? On size two, they were four. On size three, they were nine. So on size four, how many squares would be inside each one? I think it would be like... Not 14, 16. 16. Yeah, because this is three by three, right? One, two, three, one, two. So that would be three times three is nine. Two times two is four. So I think the next one would be four times four would be 16. So it would be a 16, a 16, a 16, a 16, a 16, a 16, and a 16. Just imagine that looking like an I there, right? So it would be like yeah. this. <laughs> How's that? Does that look pretty good? That looks great. I'm a horrible drawer, you guys. So, how many is that? 16 times 7? 112. That's ridiculous. Okay. So, now we're going to try and find my differences here. Okay, so what's the difference between 20? What's 28 minus 7? 21? Oh, I don't know that off the top of my head. So 63 minus 28 is 35. Wow. And 112 minus 63 is 112 minus, ooh, clear. 112 minus 63 is 49. Great. And then let's find our, see if our second difference is the same. So 35. That's not a 35. 35 minus 21 is 14. Ooh. 49 minus 35 is 14. Ooh, second difference is the same. So, um, what type of function is this? Or what type of pattern is it? My second difference is the same. What type of pattern is it? Arithmetic, geometric, quadratic. Quadratic, that is awesome. Oops, that was going to be a G, quad. Q oh, my Lanta. Okay, let's just see if I can spell today. Quad, Q-U-A-D, can't spell you guys. Q U quadratic. Okay. And so what type of function? This one should be easy because if it's a quadratic pattern, it's a quadratic function. Those ones are the same. Okay. 
So basically, this is what I'm going to tell you to do on your homework. You're going to get a whole bunch of tables. Um, I want you to answer these two questions for yourselves, right? Delta math. It, oh, it isn't delta math. It's canvas. Sorry. Um, you're going to get 12 tables. And in those tables, they want you to tell the they want you to tell them if they're if they're arithmetic, geometric, or quadratic. Okay, there's not going to be any that are neither. They're either going to be quadratic, linear, or exponential. Okay, I'm going to tell you how to the the we've done them we've done them right now we've done a few of them. The easiest way to do it is to find the differences. Okay. If the differences on the first difference are the same, then it's linear. If they're not the same, find the second difference. If the second difference is the same, then it's quadratic, right? Is everyone okay with that? If the second difference isn't the same, and the first difference isn't the same, then it's not quadratic or linear. The only choice I have left is exponential, or geometric, sorry, okay? Does that make sense? We're, you guys are going to do this in class. So if you have questions, um, if you have questions, you can ask me. Now I want to ask you guys this. Do you want to work in breakout rooms with partners on this? So you can talk about, the, talk about it with each other? Or do you just want to sit in here and work on it like this as a big group? In here, is that what that means? <laughs> is that what that means? <laughs> okay, all right. So go ahead and go to Canvas. If you go to your Canvas page to today's page, there's a link to the homework on that page. Or you go to your due dates, um, but you'd have to look for eight point less than eight point one. I go to modules. Yep, go to modules. Mm -hmm. There should be a new module. Should be module eight, right? Quadratics. Should be at the top. And you go in there and go into today's date. Yep. And click on where it says Canvas. Yep. And if you click on the little blue link, it should take you right to that assignment. And there's a whole 12 problems, you guys. And they look just like they're tables, only they're not vertical tables or horizontal tables. You're still going to do the same thing, find the differences, okay? So you might need a little piece of paper to write on to show your work, but you don't have to recopy down the tables or anything, okay? And remember, you can do this assignment as many times as you need to do to get the score that you want to get. Yeah. Right? Is it, the, is it the PDF or the pattern docs? What? Hold on. Do the docs. It brings you to the word. No, 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 no. Don't. No, 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 no. That's just the notes. Let me... Let me show you where to go. Hold on, you guys. You guys are killing me. Yes, the Canvas link. Hold on. It does? Yeah. Hold on. Oh. Ah! What did I do? Oh, I shared something. Like, hold on. Did I forget to publish it? I might, have, I might not have published it. Hold on. Let me go in and... Because I did this this morning, like, literally, like, two minutes before I started classes. So let me go see if I did not publish it. Oh, I did not publish it. I didn't publish yesterday. Why didn't you guys tell me I didn't publish yesterday's homework either? You guys are killing me. You still have to do yesterday's homework. So you guys just sat in here and didn't do yesterday's homework. You didn't tell me about it. It wasn't published. You guys are killing me. Okay, refresh your page now. And now you should be able to, um, right? Oh, so this needs to be smaller. 
So if this is our uh, page, if you go to modules, it's so slow. Uh, eight, it should have today's lesson right here. Let's make sure it's working. And if you click on the little canvas link, is it working? Oh yeah, it's working now. Okay. So you have unlimited attempts. It's due in seven days. If you start it now, and you, you could probably get it, if you don't get the score you want in class, you could probably do it a couple times today in class. Okay, maybe not. It is 1228. Okay. Let's, oh. No, 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 don't do that yet. Is that what's